Hi, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the character panel right after this. Okay, let's get started. First, if you don't have the character panel open, um, what you need to do is uh, when you open your Affinity Designer, you go up to your view at the top, and you go down to Studio, and you click on Character. But since I already have one here, I don't need to do that. I'll show you another quick way. When you click on your Artistic Text tool, um, two buttons should come up here, uh, Character and Paragraph. Um, and Paragraph and Character are for text, so um, but I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Just click on the thing and it'll pop up and get off mine. You just click on here and your character panel will pop up. I'm going to drag it over here, stick it with these other panels. Okay, so now I've got my character panel. I can uh, expand these things if I need to to look at all the options. So first off, um, there's uh, this top panel right here is about fonts. So you can uh, divide your fonts up into different ca categories. Um, your favorites, your recent, um, all different types. Um, so, and then you click on here. This is your long list of fonts that you have. All the fonts that you've ever downloaded or, um, or just come with your computer. Um, this is the size of your um, of your text, and um, here you can click on different like modes, like italic, italic, um, bold, bold italic. You, um, depends what the uh, font has. So this is for if you need style, uh, if you want uh, d these one of these styles. This is underline and strike out. This is very useful if you just want to quickly strike out or underline something and you can even add um, a color. So I'm going to click on my text. Some dogs are big and I'm going to look at see see what happens when I click on this. Okay, so it underlined it, and um, big, the word big is red, so I underlined this one red. If you want all of it to be the same color, um, you just click on whichever color you want. I'm going to go with dark red. Okay. And this is the same thing, except it's strike. Oop. Except it's strike strike out so if you want to you know cross out your letters and you can do that with this feature and you can do the color thing too so down here is um, positioning and transform so um, this thing is uh, kerning and um, so you can um, determine how um, much the letters are separated with um, this, and it has to be in here. It's wherever the uh, line goes, so you can make big a little more spaced out, or I'm going to. And uh, so I'm going to actually take this off. I take it off big, and so and this one, what this one does is it brings everything in or farther apart and it doesn't actually uh, stretch the letters and this one brings them up or down and that's good but um, I'm gonna bring big down so I so it can look won't be covering dogs and some okay so now that we got that down I'm going to show you what this one does this one uh, has you can sort of tell what it does by the icon that is near it. It um, 
uh, uh, makes uh, the space in between the top text and the lower text um, further and closer apart. So you can mess around with that. It's sort of like the same as this one, except that uh, this one's for more for like one text. This thing up here is basically you can make your things italics with it. If if up here doesn't have an italic setting, so that's nice. It's just a little bit harder. And this thing scales it. It's basically just like stretching. This down here um, scales it vert vertically and stretches it up. Okay. Um, this is topography down here. And um, so these are just like different random settings that you can do sort of experiment with them and have fun. You can make all your text uh, capitals. You can make it small capitals. So I think I'm going to go with that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to make a space in between here. I'm actually going to turn the underline all the way off. So it makes it uh, look sort of um, empty in here. So I'm going to bring this back up. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to um, um, finish this up. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe and like my videos. Thanks.